All right, guys, it's your boy Josh. We are going live. Welcome to the Josh Harkness Live Show, where you can get everything you need all in one place, um, especially for entrepreneurs, um, small business owners. Um, if your company's a thousand, up to a thousand employees, independent contractors, and W 2s, this is for you. This is for the uh, new entrepreneur who is just, you know, getting started. This is for seasoned entrepreneurs, um, independent contractors, uh, you know, your average everyday go-getter. Uh, this is even for people who not, who have nine to five and have careers. Um, so everyone that's pretty much working towards, you know, making a life better. This is for you guys. Um, special shout out to all the people who dropped comments the other day on the live feeds, which has been great. Um, also, also a big shout out to a lot of people who took action in the past couple of days. Um, appreciate it. Want to keep this thing going. Um, I think we're like tithering almost a thousand views on our first first video that we did. So it's, it's cranking up. Um, under that, we've been going at it. So my voice is like a little <laughs> burnt out today. But um, let me make sure these uh, these volumes are good too. Hold on, guys. This is up. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I got the other thing on today. Yeah, I got the mic on. We're just a little closer. Let me just make sure the sound is good for you guys. Mic might change access to this device. Alright, I just want to make sure the mic is good. Mic should be good. Alright, so like I was saying, uh, this podcast is for, you know, everyone and everyone. So please take the information down, get a pen and pad. Um, I do kind of, you know, run through the information, not say quickly, but listen, you guys do have the access to, um, we want, rewind, sorry. <laughs> uh, so many information here so you guys can get it. And make sure you guys stay stay on point. Hold on one second. Status. Be cranking up in a minute, like I said, just want people to start logging on. Give people a couple seconds to, to log on.
you guys are just joining, just give me a second. We're trying to invite a little bit more people, and we're going to get going. Um, if this is your first time joining us, this is Josh, the Josh Harkness Show, which we go live. We drop uh, some great content uh, for business owners, entrepreneurs, seasoned uh, business owners, uh, people that's just starting out uh, with their business or their entrepreneurship. Um, this is a lot of incredible information. Um, like I said, our um, motto and mission statement is to make sure that we give you guys um, real information in real time uh, with real results, right? So we just want to make sure we get everyone on board, and then we're gonna just go. We're gonna go live um, for the past maybe three, four, five days. We have basically went over the stock market on how to buy. Um, options calls and puts we also went through some great ETF that has high uh, dividends that pay out monthly um, we also went through how to set up your stock portfolio um, almost damn near better than an actual than you actually go into a financial advisor right now because the interest rates are so low they're only doing you know what they know so once again this is Josh welcome to the Josh Harkness live show um, like I said our motto here is just to bring you guys some live content um, that you guys can use in real life based on real results that we got and that we put to test um so <clears throat> you know like i said i'm seeing people like start you know, like come on so like i said the information that we basically shared in the past couple of days um has been on the uh, credit side business marketing uh stocks as well as real estate right um, so we kind of have a wide um, spread on what we like kind of go into but tonight um, I want to kind of just reiterate what we talked about in the past three days so we can get get people up to speed and then we're going to go into marketing tonight right so <clears throat> for the past three days if you guys are just joining thank you for joining so for the past three days we talked about four core topics for anybody right so any person that's looking to do business these are four topics that we talked about in the past four days I'm gonna give it to you right now so if you have a pen or pad or you know one throw down in your textbook or I mean your text message definitely do this so number one that we talked about in the past three days is going to be it's going to be um, our acronym right so the acronym that we follow in business is going to be R for research T for test S for sell S for scale a for automate, R to the third power, which is going to be um, reinvest, restructure, and re-innovate, right? So these are the um, components that we've been using that's been really great for us. So if you haven't, take a look at the live feed. Just take a look at um, the Josh Harkness um, Facebook page, and it'll pop up. And you guys can go through the live feed that we did the other day, and you guys can catch up there. Now, the second topic that we talked about on the other live feed was about stocks and how to one invest in the stock market what are some uh, great ETFs and index to get on get on board with uh, we also talk about how to do a credit um, call spread um, I don't really do puts but we is all the same concept so we talked about that about that the other day if you go on the Josh Harkness Facebook page you, is all the content is already there right so I just want to catch everybody up to speed on what we talked about in the past uh, three or four days on our live channel um, next uh, the other night we talked about um, how to build your credit uh, profile not your credit but your profile with using our cheat sheet um, up to fifty thousand dollars right so we gave all that informa information away last night if you guys actually tonight I'm gonna go over uh, the credit part again I know some people ask me to go over it tonight so I'm gonna go over that real quick and then tonight show is gonna be all about uh, marketing right so yesterday was credit and how to build your credit portfolio and tonight is gonna be marketing right so what I will do tonight is just talk about credit real briefly and I'm gonna give you guys the breakdown for the fifty thousand uh, dollar credit portfolio that you guys want to start creating um, and how we went about doing it right so um, if you guys are ready grab a pen and pad I'm gonna go a little you know not say quick but quick enough right so on the on the personal um, credit 
portfolio and how you want to build it out is with these companies. Now, what we do is we do a mixture of things where one, we want to deal with companies that don't require um, us to have our credit to be pulled. That's one. That's 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 a very key point. A lot of time when people build credit, they're going to go get a secure card. They're going to get a line of credit with a bank. And then what's going to happen in most cases, they're going to like mess up your credit. Because if you do it more than once, it's a wrap. So the FICO score, you know, rule of thumb is that you only want to have two inquiries for the whole year. And you only want to have really about two uh, credit lines um, far as hard inquiries because your credit score would drop you know pretty big and pretty quick when you are trying to apply for credit cards but let's just get to it. I'm gonna give you guys fifty thousand dollar worth of credit line that you guys can slap onto your credit portfolio so you guys can have a strong um, credit portfolio so now you can invest in real estate into the stock market and into whatever business venture that you want to so let's talk about it so for personal credit these are the companies that we work with uh, so the first one was um, discoverit.com the next one was Capital One the next one was crownjewelers.com the next one was creditstrong.com the next one is horizongold.com the next one is myjewelers.com the next one is kickoff and that's K-I-K off the next one was fingerhut the other one was applied bank dot com um, and then let me get to the next ones for you uh, the next one that we have here is grow credit right and I don't think I left anything off just been one second to make sure I didn't leave anything off there <clears throat> also open sky um, hunting chase dot com and let me just make sure there's nothing else I left off here I believe that is all great so let's do this now that's just for personal now for business Right, I did say I'm going to do a couple of things for business so you guys can start building um, some credit uh, up with your business. So, the companies that we use was um, um, HD Supply, the next one was Quill.com, the next one was uh, WB Mason, that's W B M A S O N.com, the next one was Global Industrials.com, the next one was S E T O N. Dot com. We also use Uline.com to uh, partner with to help us start building business credit. All right now, I know a lot of people are like, what the hell are these names and da da da. So, like I said, if you're just joining us, we're kind of just kind of reiterating some of the things that we did yesterday on um, building uh, personal credit as well as business credit and what companies we can partner with on the business side to start building business credit. All right. Um, I think you guys have all the business ones now what I will I do want to make sure you guys understand on the business side um, there's there's three things that you want to know on on building your business credit one you got to get a you know LLC two you got to get an EIN number you got to get a Dunn's number you got to get a nav account that's nav.com you got to get a Dun and Bradstreet account you have to get an Experian uh, business account. You also have to get an Equifax business account. Now, that's you know that's number one. Number two, in order to build business credit, is very similar to how you would build personal credit, but the only difference is, is this. In most cases, you can build your business credit. Well, not build, but yeah, build. Build your business credit in seven days, fifteen days. 12 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and 120 days. I want you guys to remember these days that we're talking about, right? Because what happened is with a lot of these companies, and even Fortune 500 companies, they all built their business credit the same way. They leveraged their business credit, and then they were able to do, like, you know, a lot of great things, right? So let's talk about it. Um, when we're talking about building business credit, there's a word called net 30, right? It could be a net 
7, it could be a net 15, it could be a net 20, it could be a net uh, 60, it could be a net um, 90, and also net 120, right? So all this means is that these vendors and these companies that we just talked about is going to give you, um, you know, basically an invoice, right? So let's say, all right, this week I need a printer, but versus me going out and spending my hard-earned money, I can use my business EIN number or Dunn's number to create an invoice and get that merchandise sent out to me um, basically on a you know um, you know what do you call it? like consignment type thing type of thing so they're gonna build me an invoice I have to pay that invoice out in whatever time frame that you know that the invoice says so let's say today I buy a printer um, or you know let's make it realistic so let's say I buy a machine for a salon let's say I buy a computer or laptop for my music business or for my web designing business or just to have a you know a, a laptop or desktop inside my home for my home based business of any sort you want to use your EIN number or Dunn's number with these companies and order that product they'll give you an invoice and in 30 days they'll allow you to pay that bill so if anyone caught that they'll give you 30 days in most cases more or less um, to pay for your merchandise now what happened is with this invoice you want to record your invoice with nav.com um, done in Bradstreet.com um, Experian business and Equifax business right you want to record your invoices with these companies right that's one sometimes these companies will already um, start recording the transaction theirself right there's some companies that already report to the uh, business um, bureau to help you get a paydex score all right um, so yes yeah, so now you want to do this trick uh, not trick but you want to do this strategy to start building out your business credit if you have an EIN number if you have an LLC if you're incorporated if you're a sole supplier whatever the case may be um, building business credit fundamentally the rules don't change okay all right so let's go into all right so we just did personal and business I do want to go right back into the personal real quick so you guys follow along uh, we just gave you a whole bunch of companies right so I'm gonna let you know what the credit lines are with these companies as well so we won't we won't forget you guys can have an idea on um, you know what programs they have as well as what line of credit that you can get uh, with these companies so applied bank um, that's a secure card that's two hundred dollars and you can go all the way to three thousand depending on how much you want to put down um, I would say probably just do you know two hundred so finger hut same thing normally two hundred and above crown jeweler that's twenty five hundred um, horizon gold that's five hundred sometimes you get a thousand you can also use Hudson Chase And that's all. That's fifteen hundred. Um, credit strong. That's forty five and forty five hundred. And you also have another program for eighteen thousand, right? So the program for forty five hundred. That's forty nine dollars a month. You pay them. They give you a line of credit for forty forty five hundred. When you do the eighteen thousand uh, dollar line of credit program, that's two hundred dollars a month. Now the beauty of this program, these two programs that we're talking about, if you pay them 200, they report the payment. If you stop sending them the 200, they'll no longer send send out uh, to the credit bureau the $18,000 credit line, which is great, right? And this is a good thing that you can do. So if you are like me, if I if I spend 200 dollars and I got a, a secure card member, when we under by us understanding the rules of the game of the FICO score and what makes up the FICO score, right? What's the rule of the FICO score? Is that the five components of a um, to get a FICO score? Um, you know, the percentage. I think it's like ten or fifteen, and that's really based on the amount of credit, right? Mixed lines of credit, right? Um, and things like that. So you do have to have a mix. You have you have to have mixed lines of credit. That's one, two. You also need to have big. Um, lines of credit right they want to see that people are giving you huge lines of credit and this makes you more lendable it makes you more um, you know makes you more attractive in the financial world right so let's move forward so um, 
Credit Strong, they have a program for 4500 They also have a program for $18,000. Um, for people who don't have that much money, this is a good one. So kickoff, that's only $12 a month to start getting your uh, credit reported for good payment history, which is a key factor of building credit. It doesn't matter how much money it is. As long as you can have something on record that you're paying um, on a monthly basis, on time, and in good, um, in good standards, you will be able to build your credit score. Um, so it's uh, kickoff.com. So it's K-I, K-I-K, sorry, O-F-F.com, and that's only $12 a month. Now, when we talk about crown crown jewelers and my jeweler, yes, we've done it. Um, so one will give you $2,500. The trick with them is a $20 activation, and in most cases, you have to make a purchase with them for um, $100, which brings you to $100. And twenty dollars for a line of credit of twenty five hundred, which is beautiful. Some people heard of that company, but a lot of people applied, but they didn't follow through with activating the account and making a purchase. So be very mindful that some of this company that we do mention do um, you do have to activate them. So my jewelers is another one that you have to activate. So let's talk about it. So it's it's five thousand dollar line of credit with that company specifically, meaning. There's a, uh, I think it's $25 membership fee, right? And then they want you to spend anywhere from $100 to $150 with them for your first transaction. And then they'll give you a line of credit for $5,000. Now, for grow credit, for like I said, a lot of people who are starting to build out their credit and they say, like, okay, Josh, I don't have, you know, $200. I don't have $1,000 to do five lines of credit. That's cool. Try to work with Kickoff and also try to work with GrowCredit.com. It only takes $15 to um, get your payments uh, recorded, and they're like I said, they're a great company to work with. Now, if you do have money um, to play with, and mind you, this is if you have you know $200, if you have $500, um, or even $1,000, what I would do is take some of that money, invest into your credit. And you know, really blow up your credit score in a big way. So the last two companies are Secure Cards, which is Capital One, and DiscoverIt.com, which you can actually upload up to three thousand dollars for a Secure Card with them, and it will give you a card. Uh, the other one was Open Sky and Apply Bank. All right, so that was well over uh, about fifty thousand dollars. Sorry, that's forty-seven thousand that we just talked about in a less of three minutes. Now, the next one that we want to talk about, I know everyone said, oh, Josh, you said 50,000. So this is how you get 50,000, which we totally almost forgot to tell you guys is about AU, which is authorized users, right? But we're not going to talk about that just yet. What we want to talk about is this. I just gave you 47,000, right? Now, the key way of building, not building your credit, but getting up to the 50 is that after 30 days or two months, you, um, for apply bank, you ask for um, a credit increase, for um, for credit grow, you can ask for an increase. For Capital One, you can ask for an increase. For Discover um, It, you can ask for an increase. Right? Boom! Now you got the set. Now let's now let's really talk about. It. I want to give you guys some great situations. So if you're building your personal credit, you or for your kids, or let's say you're a couple, right? Because earlier I said my live show was for couples, for young couples. For mid-age couples and whoever else want to, you know, tag along is great. My uh, live feed is for young entrepreneurs, small business owners, and if you have a company from 500 to 1,000 employees, this is for you. Um, my go-getters, uh, my uh, freelancers, any um, home-based business, this is for you. We also talk about families, and we try to show you how to set up your kids and how to set up, you know, um, set up your uh, credit profile. For couples, now for couples, this works for you. This is a technique you can use it, and I would definitely recommend uh, using it. Give me one second. Now, when we're talking about building personal credit and building business credit and setting our kids up and setting our families up, this is what we um, actually had a discussion about uh, the other night. So let's say if it's um, I'm I'm you know obviously I'm a dad, right? So it's a dad. Um, my significant other, right? My daughter and our um, our son, 
and then let's say our immediate family. So right, so I have my brother, I have um, his significant other, we have um, his two kids, right? Then we have my sister, and then we have my mom, right? And then you have my dad as well, right? So that's my family tree. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven people. So now we have eleven people, and then <laughs> what? What I was just giving people the game plan on, because I'm putting it, putting it into practice. I've done it. I applied it. So I'm going to share it because it works. So we have eleven family members, right? And this is the best. I'm trying to tell you something, guys. So take notes. We have eleven family members. They all a credit score can be anywhere from 500 to 700. It doesn't really matter, but it's kind of give you the scope, the scope of what we're talking about. So we have 11 family members. Average credit score can be anywhere from 500 to 700, right? That's a huge, you know, window. But this is what what we're practicing. This is what we're applying, and this is what we've been putting into use. So we have 11 family members now. Each family member which is highly recommended should have an LLC. Now, I was telling my brother the other day, he said, listen, bro, we have 11 family members. I mean, we should have 11, 11 entities. Meaning this, not only building out our credit for personal, we should be setting up each family member with an LLC. Now, this is the reason why. 11 LLCs means 11 businesses, right? If it's active or non active, who cares? If the baby is three years old, four or five years old, listen, put an LOC, get an LOC for the child. If it's a teenager, get an LOC for the teenager. Um, if you're a couple, get an LOC since you got a couple and try to run a small business. But let's just talk about getting the LOC first. So we have 11 family members, 11 um, liability companies, right? Now, this is a goal. Now, out of those people, let's just say each person only have a hundred bucks, right? So that's eleven thousand dollars, just like that. Now, I'm not saying that everyone's gonna work together. Then, blah 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 blah. I get the whole fucking story. Who cares about it? We got eleven family members only putting in a hundred bucks. That's eleven thousand. Each person, the LOC normally range from anywhere from ninety dollars, depending on where you get it done at. All the way up to if you're doing it in New York is 225, um, and if you do the other program, you can actually get your LOC back to you um, within like two three days, right? Uh, it could be a little longer because of coronavirus, but normally on the average it's like two two to five days. You can get everything done. Um, if you do it, uh, if you have them do everything for you, then it's really you know they'll email you like the same day the next day, so it's not that hard. So now you have 11 entities. And then what happened is with personal, we're going to give you the same game plan. So each person should be building out their credit um, profile with $50,000 worth of new lines of credit that we just gave you guys for free. So there's no excuse. So for personal, we just gave you $50,000 worth of um, companies to partner with to start building up your credit. Second, for business, we gave you, I would say, six companies to help you build your business credit by um, doing invoices. And then also a, a, a real quick trick with um, building out your business credit, um, you know, we just found out the hard way, right? But in order to build out your business credit, once again, like I said, you do have to make purchases, right? And those invoices have to be um, recorded with Dun & Bradstreet. If you guys haven't heard of it before, write it down with nav.com, right? Also with Equifax Business, right? And also with Experian Business. So your invoices need to be recorded with these companies so they can give you a Paydex score, right? There's another score we had, just haven't talked about it yet. So we go a little deeper, but I'm trying to like, you know, go through a lot of things with under a certain amount of time. So one, your person score is on point. You build out your credit portfolio for 11 family members that, that will open up 11 entities. That's one. Second, build out your credit um, build out your build out your business credit. We just gave you that. You can do small purchases with business as well. So sometimes if you want to get an invoice, look on the websites and the companies that we tell you to partner with. You can buy um, a product for three dollars, get the invoice, and then send it out to um, to uh, Dun and Bradstreet, to Nav, Equifax Business, and Experian Business, and have them record an on-time payment. You know what I mean? Like Pete Game. This is what people do. Right, so you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. 
the main goal is on time payments recorded that's it they want to know if you're you're um, able to make payments on time that's it now let's take it further so though everyone who that's in our family in my family i got 11 people right now 11 people should have businesses i think maybe out of 11 people in my in my family i think my sister has her business she parted with my mom um my girlfriend right now she has a business her mom has a business her brother has a business her dad has a business my brother has a business um we're going to bring on his fiance at some point who will be opening up whole business um and then the kids will want to convert those businesses over for the kids as well so we're actively doing this so now like I said I'm gonna give it to you guys but let's just go a little deeper right so we talked about um, my 11 family members invested $100 into you know into a pool to start open up companies so that's eleven thousand dollars with 11 people right um, I think my phone just died give me one second no it didn't all right so cool let's get to it Sorry, I think um let me let me go back. I said a hundred dollars eleven thousand. So that's a thousand dollars for each person, sorry. And then let's get let's get into it. So eleven people at a thousand dollars, that's eleven thousand guys. Right, so let's get to it. So <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. So eleven people, eleven family members, or even partners, what the case may be. So eleven people, eleven partners, eleven family members times 250 for an LOC that equals $2,700 guys so you take 11,000 minus out uh, 2750 now in order to build out the personal credit because you're going to need personal credit um, at some point of the day if you do not build out your business credit remember what I said you will need your personal credit if you do not build out your business credit because if you don't have business credit, they're always going to use your uh, personal information to leverage um, some business credit for you. But don't get caught up in that. Because you remember, your personal and business are two different entities. But now let's talk about. It. So we took that eleven thousand that we generated with the family or partners or even by yourself, and then now we're going to build out our personal, build out our personal um, new lines of credit. So how much? All the lines of credit we just talked about, like how much money did I come up to so we know what we're talking about. So, what's that? Two, two, one, that's five, five, six, seven, All right, so basically, each person is going to need about nine hundred dollars to build out their credit portfolio to uh, to fifty thousand. But let's just give you the numbers now. So we got eleven people, or eleven partners, or eleven family members, right? And it takes nine hundred dollars to get them to a fifty thousand dollar new line of credit attached to their credit portfolio, right? I just did a math. I just gave you the companies, I just gave you the businesses, I just gave you all the companies. So everyone should be up to speed on what we're talking about right now. If you're not, just drop it in the comments and then I'll, I'll, I'll update you in a minute on the one on one. So we got 11 family members, 11 partners, um, spending $900 to get uh, $50,000 worth of new lines of credit, which, which we just gave you all the information on, right? So we know, we know what it is. So 11 people are gonna have $50,000 worth of new credit attached to their credit portfolio right so that's on a personal level now on a business level right we have 11 entities and we're going to take the hundred dollars left over right times um, 11 that's a thousand it's 1100 sorry so 1100 that's 1100 so now we're going to take the uh, 1100 and we're going to start building out the business uh, credit, right? Meaning this, for each entity, we're going to build out the credit portfolio. And how do we do that? One, we're going to open up a Dunn's account, a Dunn and Bradstreet account, sorry. We're going to open up a NAV account, right? We're going to open up Equifax business. We're going to open up account with um, Experian business. It does take money to open up some of those platforms and majority of the time you do not need to do it at all 
because the companies that I did give you report to those credit bureaus for the business side. So in most cases, you do not have to worry about it, guys. So there's no additional cost. But if you want to, you can. But the main thing is to create invoices, right? So take the hundred dollars per entity and then just do, you know, you know, do six transactions, right? So a hundred bucks divided by six um, is sixteen dollars. So do um, uh, six transactions at sixteen dollars with the companies that we gave you, like Uline, Quill, Ganger. Um, HD supply like do that with all those companies figure out what you need I mean we got a box of tape over here I didn't even need tape but it is what it is we got some microfiber cloths and things like this which we needed and we spent probably like 20 bucks and we got some of that stuff um, you know mailed out to us and we we can create the invoices now okay so to just kind of end this off in a good note like what what does that really what does this look like right and why am I even talking about this? A lot of people needed to get caught up from our last from our last live feed. So I just want to make sure everyone is caught up now. I hope you guys took your notes. But now, like, what does that really look like, right? What does this look like um, when you have 11 family members at a 700 credit score and you have 11 family members or partners that you run with with a Paydex score looking at 70 or 80, a 80 um, Paydex score? This is what this looks like, you know, reality. You have 11 people or 11 partners with, not say, not just with the ability, but with the, you have 11 partners, 11 family members with a 700 credit score at least, right? And then you have them also with a 80 pay deck score and a lot of people say, okay, Josh, what does this, well, you know, you talk about all this shit, like, what does this really mean? Because I need to know what it means. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I get all the time, people texting me. So, um, this is what this means. So, you have 11 people, I just got to reiterate one more time. You have 11 people at a 700 credit score, right? You have 11 people or family members at an 80 pay that score, what they own, LOC, that they own 100% of. No one's working for nobody. We're just trying to raise business capital uh, credit and we're trying to raise our personal credit right clearly we got to clean it but then we're talking about building our credit prof portfolio but what happens is this out of those 11 people on a bare minimum scale should be getting ten thousand dollars personal right this is bare minimum guys ten thousand dollars personal worth of lines of credit right now you want to times that by 11 that's a hundred and ten thousand dollars that we just leverage in a matter of five minutes guys this shit don't take long you can do everything in one day you feel me so in 10 minutes you got the information in the next 10 20 or even next day you can apply this shit with your family and get going if everyone can get it going and if you need help and you got five people or ten people eleven people that's ready to go I will help you myself personally you don't have to pay me shit my goal is to help everyone that I said this podcast is for for this live feed is for so individuals young entrepreneurs moms dad couples married couples small business owners um, investors, um, wholesale investors, wholesale uh, people that do deals, like anyone and anyone that's in the entrepreneur space and also families, right? This is for you guys. So my services on helping you guys set up everything is going to be absolutely free. So don't worry about that. I'm not trying to sell you no shit. None of that. That's not the goal here. We just want to get people, we want to get people like moving. We want to make people profitable. We want to help people become more aware of some of these um, tools and strategies and that you guys can put to use immediately because right now the way things is moving is like the one thing that I know is the issue is is capital right all right so cool so we got 11 people um, ten thousand dollars worth of lines of credit because we did it the right way and that's about a hundred thousand one hundred thousand dollars worth of lines of credit that we have at our disposal now the key trick of leveraging your credit building a credit portfolio having a strong credit score 
A lot of people don't talk about it. But once you build out these credit portfolios and you can go to the other bigger banks, it's called a balance transfer. Please, everyone write this down, a balance transfer, right? So you got a credit card. In most cases, people see in a statement that, all right, you got $3,000, but you got $1,000 available in cash. This is what we're talking about, okay? So we leverage our credit to $10,000. We're able to take out a cash amount. We leverage our credit to a hundred thousand. We're able to take out whatever that cash amount is. Okay, you normally see the cash amount on your statements. So let's say if you got a credit card for a thousand dollars, you may be able to take out, you know, three hundred dollars or five hundred. All right, those rules on that one credit card apply the same way across the board, no matter how much money it is. Okay. Now we got 11 people, 10 bands. We raised 100,000 in uh, lines of credit, and we should be able to take out like 30% or what the case may be, right? So not say like that, but there's a certain percentage that you can get out. But let's just for you know um, example purposes, we pull out 30,000 um, here, you know, personal by leveraging our our personal credit. By the way, this is an example. You should be getting way much more bread, by the way. At a 700 credit score, everyone is up, everyone doing their thing. You should be getting way more than 10K. This is just bare minimum that we're talking about right now. So we leverage $30,000 by everyone doing what we talked about. Now, on a business side, it gets disgusting. So for, 10, for 11 people with a paydex score of 80, once again, like I said, a PEDEX score of 80, 11 family members who open up their own LOC and build out their credit portfolio, how we just showed you to do, right? This is what we're looking at on the business side. On average, we're looking at anywhere from another 10,000. Um, we're also looking at anywhere from 30,000 worth of business unsecured, insecure lines of credit, all right? We're more interested in the uh, business lines of credit, which are secure, which has uh, cash value, right? So this is what we're looking at. So let's just do um, the middle. So let's take 15,000 times 11, right? I still wanna give you guys bare minimum numbers so you guys don't go too crazy and then like, it's realistic. So we got 11 LOCs now built out to an 80 paydex score in return, we're getting $15,000 in secure lines of credit, right? That has cash, um, we have access to cash as well. So 15,000 times 11, that brings us to $165,000 that we now have access to do whatever we need to do. When you add that up all together, we got 30,000 plus $165,000 that gives us uh, hundred and ninety five thousand dollars that we have access as a family we have access to as part business partners we have access as you know um, or other you know business partners or almost like a venture capital type of thing it depends on how you structure your business and depends on how you go into business with people but by us leveraging our personal credit and our business credit having 11 family members or even if you had five family members it doesn't matter but once we all get on the same accord you can do this with your wife you can do it with your siblings you can do it with your family members you can do it by yourself even if you did this by yourself you now have access to about uh, fifty thousand dollars to yourself to do whatever kind of business deal that you need to do so not to say like all right you got the information and no one you know I'm not talking like that but what I'm saying is, is when you know what you're doing is very is less room you know for us to say that we don't we don't have access to capital because i just showed you how to do it right so if you was by yourself you got access to fifty thousand if you were a team of people you had access to to two hundred thousand if you're running with your family members and everyone's on the same accord you have access to about two hundred thousand dollars to do you know whatever it is buy a new house buy an investment property buy into a franchise um, start buying franchises, right? So each family member should have a franchise under their uh, Duns number or their social, well, their, their entity, sorry. So, you know, I hope you guys took notes. I hope you guys um, 
understand step by step what we just talked about on how to build your business uh, portfolio to 50,000 how to build your business portfolio how to create invoices to get to an 80 paydex score um, and you know that's it so that's a great part today when we talk about credit now if you guys are on this live feed and you guys are here for the marketing part we're, we're gonna go into marketing so when I talk about marketing we're talking about social media marketing we're talking about Facebook Instagram um, Google Ads we're talking about targeted marketing we're talking about um, insight how to do it we're talking about Google Trends we're talking about lead generation we're talking about how to really position yourself on social media and then one of the main key things is how to position yourself how to position your brand how to stay in control of your brand and your data right so this is Josh Harkness uh, welcome to the show uh, we will uh, be turning over um, this session into marketing um, if you guys enjoy the uh, live feed about uh, 46 minutes ago we were talking about credit personal and business how to create your portfolio for um, about what fifty thousand dollars new lines of credit as well as for your business portfolio like I said guys um, this is the Josh Harkness show this is a live show uh, we are uh, mainly focused on giving uh, real information um, result based information in real time that's the whole reason why we're doing this live this is not scripted this is real authentic information that's been tested uh, tried and we just basically balance out the results and that's the reason why we're gonna give it out to you guys um, so now we're gonna go over to marketing uh, social media marketing right we're also gonna be talking about uh, lead generation right we're gonna be talking about uh, content right um, what's another thing alright so one of the key things too with marketing is the pixel so if you haven't got a pixel or a tracker you guys are doing yourself a disservice when you guys are marketing um, one of the key things also with marketing is going to be awareness another key thing with, um, with marketing is going to be uh, lead generation so I want to make sure I, I stop on these things here um, and obviously with marketing the main thing is revenue or sales, right? And the last part is going to be control. Obviously, the audience as well, right? Your customer base, right? So audience slash customers. We're going to talk about how to get them and all that good stuff. <laughs> all right. So if you are on this live feed once again, uh, my name is Josh. Last name Harkness. You guys can Google me. I'm a real person. I'm not trying to, you know, pitch no services to you guys. Take your money. I don't actually. I'm not asking no one to buy anything from me. None of that shit. Um, this is just me giving you guys authentic information in real time, based on real results. You guys can take it. Run, you know, run with it. If you guys want to reach out to me for free assistance, I am always here. Um, but like I said, if you guys want to hire me for services, that's totally different. Josh, I don't got the time to do it. Can you do it? I know you know what you're doing. Cool. That's a different conversation. But if you say, Josh, I need help setting this up. I need help with this. I need help with that. I will help anybody for free. All right. Now let's get into it. So when we're talking about marketing, I want everyone that's on this live feed to understand that marketing is only for you guys to create awareness for your product, for your brand, and for your services. That is it. Marketing does not sell anything for you now if you create a, a good enough awareness for your brand then yes someone may turn around and say yeah I want to go buy them sneakers I want to go buy that chain I want to go buy that perfume I want to go buy that car I want to go buy that laptop I want to go buy that house I want to go buy you know whatever it is that they need to buy from you I want to go buy those ads I want to go buy that content I want to do um, I want to jump on you know Facebook and listen to Apple music and like whatever it is marketing the tool the purpose of marketing sorry is to create awareness that is it so if you are running ads and you're like oh man I ran all these ads or if you're doing events and you're trying to kick off your kick off your product line or whatever the case may be please understand that event is just another subcategory of marketing right that's not gonna get you sales that's not gonna make you a millionaire okay when you get a website that's not gonna get you sales it's not gonna make you a millionaire <laughs> you know what I'm saying that's a credibility factor to have a website it's a credibility factor to run marketing campaigns 
it's a credibility factor to have you know direct marketing campaigns and things like this and to be listed on Google and yep these are all credibility tools so you can look professional on the digital world right so that's not you know just just understand when we're talking about marketing is only for awareness all right now we're off that now when we're talking about social media marketing once again social media marketing just means that you're online marketing your product marketing your goods and creating awareness for your brand for your product and for your services marketing online or marketing on social media does not guarantee you sales okay we're going to talk about sales in a minute but i just want everyone to understand that marketing is only um you know marketing is only going to get you um awareness and say hey josh is marketing and he has this kind of product or he has this kind of company or he do these kind of things and he's selling this right here and i think it's pretty good that's the end result you want the person to say hey call me hey oh he got this i should get this guy a call i should go to the website da, da, da. that's the only purpose um, that marketing is really going to get you now when we're talking about and that's for marketing anywhere marketing physically or marketing online when we're talking about social media clearly that's online but when your marketing is only going to get you brand awareness awareness for your services and awareness for your products now when we're talking about generating sales and generating revenue it's a whole different kind of conversation when we're talking about creating sales or getting sales and things like this and be able to scale we talked about it on the last live feed but we're going to talk about it again for today's show sales how do you make a sale online how do you um you know how do you make a sale in person right how do you scale your sales right the main key thing is having a sales process right if you don't have a sales process you will not make sales it's just that simple what do I mean by having a sales process, right? Think about, I, you know, I'm sorry to use it, but, you know, McDonald's. What happens with McDonald's? Like, really think about how the hell you find yourself in a McDonald's, opening up your wallet, and then giving them your money. That's all you got to think about. How did I get to McDonald's? How did I get to the point of opening my wallet? And you know, buying you know, buying whatever you know product or service it is at McDonald's, which is a hamburger or a number one. You feel me? So let's not let's not go crazy. Just think about how did you get yourself in McDonald's or order on Uber Eats, whatever case may be. How did you come to that point to say I was going to order McDonald's? Now, if you don't eat McDonald's, use another damn company like Chipotle. How the hell did you bring yourself to buy a Chipotle meal? Right? This is what making a sale or understand what your sale process is because chipotle if you guys noticed this past six months converted a lot of their business over to digital sales having a digital uh, platform for chipotle now if you check their stocks they're doing about a thousand dollar worth of you know um sustaining their stock at a thousand dollars that's very hard to do for a restaurant business they're doing better than mcdonald's so clearly their process their digital platform is doing amazing as far as converting customers and having customers buy online but what you have to and you know um great subway go on chipotle website and check out their sales process right little note right but let's get to it so when we're talking about making sales online you want to understand your sales process just like mcdonald's and just like chipotle go to their website see how they're set up see how one like i said content right the visual is very important if you have a horrible website and it's not up to speed and it's lagging right and it's not designed properly or professionally you will not convert your customer once they land on that website reason being I tell everyone even myself I had to realize that when you create a website keep it simple you want your website to do four things right and I'm gonna tell you right now one when you have when you're putting together a website the first thing that a customer wants to see is the product in most cases I'm just you know, it is what it is I don't care if you you want to contest the information it is what it is but if you're not making sales online with your website it's because the customer is not seeing the product that's number one so anyone that want to make sales online show the product first 
show the, the services first. That's what you want to do. Show the product or show the services that you're offering first. They don't want to see nothing else. They didn't come to your website to see a picture of you. They didn't come to your website to see something that's non-related to you know what they came for. That's like me going into McDonald's and they selling Chinese food. That's not what I know McDonald's for. You know what I'm saying? So make sure if I have a website and it says um, I'm, my website is about credit repair, one, I should be showing a video of me helping someone um, fix their credit, right? I should be showing a video of results of people getting their credit fixed and, and like I said, the results. I should be showing, you know, me, um, you know, just trying to give you a visual what, what it should look like. But you guys get it. You guys aren't crazy. Um, if I'm selling, if I have a coffee restaurant, I should be showing on my website the first thing, a video of me making coffee. Right, a professional video at that with a high-end camera uh, or at least a high-end loop picture of someone making coffee at at least a 4K quality. So that's the very first thing. If you have a um, barber shop, you should be showing a video of you cutting someone's hair. If you have a um, credit repair company, you should have a video, a short video of you helping someone fix a credit. If you have a um, coffee shop, no, not a coffee shop. Let's say um, if you have a um, what a lot of business uh, a hair business right if you have a hair business you should have a video of you one supplying someone with hair or two you should have like a video of this hair um, you know event that's one right so if you ever did a hair event record the video and, and turn it into a commercial that's it like I ain't trying to go too crazy with it, but you guys get the gif so when you the first thing that someone should see on your website is a live video or whatever that product or services is that's it now, when it comes down to um, converting that person on your website, you want to focus on the actual product, the service, and then you want to walk them into making a purchase. So the next thing is, <clears throat> right, is identifying what that customer needs. If you do not identify what that customer needs in a matter of three seconds, you will not be able to take that customer along the sales process. Right, so a lot of people have sales funnels, but we're talking about a website. So be clear on what we're talking about. So first on your website, you should have a loop video of whatever it is that you do at a high quality and showing the product or service. Second, you should be able to identify what the customer want. So if you do credit repair services and all you've been doing is marketing about credit repair services, the second window that you should have on your website should be talking about your credit uh, process what you do how you do it and results that is it they're gonna follow that. they're gonna say oh this is a product this is what they do um, this is how they do it and here's some proof next that you what you want to do on the next box if you're using godaddy.com or any kind of um, you know hosting um, a platform or web designing platform the next box you should do is your packages right so if I do credit repair this is our our credit cleaning packet is a hundred dollars one-time payment right next if you want to do um, credit repair plus credit building that's two hundred dollars one-time payment right and they get three months worth of service um, for the third packet will be personal credit um, cleaning, rebuilding, and then business, right? Or business coaching, right? Because we can't do, we can't combine the two, but we can do business coaching. So we do credit cleaning, credit rebuilding, and then credit coaching, uh, credit business coaching. And that packet is $5.99 one-time payment. And then what I would, would do or you should do if you're selling some kind of services, you should give the customer, um, just create like a small line between there and say, hey, we have payment options right or we have a payment plan and allow people to pay fractions on a dollar or small amounts of payment to pay for whatever product you have because the main goal for converting sales is not to explode people um not to explode or show you know explosive numbers meaning this if a person see a hamburger for 20 dollars at mcdonald's they're not buying that shit 
So take the same concept. The reason why McDonald prices are so affordable because they already know that in order to make money, I got to have a decent price point, period. If I'm selling credit repair services, I'm not going to charge them on $20,000. I'm not going to charge them $1,000. You, you understand what I'm saying? So when you are selling online, make sure that your price point is affordable um, for one-time payments or even monthly payments or be conscious enough to create a payment plan, right? So if my if my packet comes up to $20,000, I know the world needs it, but I also know that the world and people in the world that I'm going to be catering to don't have that type of money. The best thing I can do, if it's twenty thousand, ten thousand, five thousand, or even a thousand dollars, is to create a create a payment plan that makes sense. If it's a thousand dollars, make it fifty bucks a month. Make it a hundred bucks a month. Now you got the person in the business. They made a sell. Remember, as a business owner, you're not a greedy. You're not greedy. Your main thing is revenue, right? So a lot of people got to understand too. When you're running a business, it's not about being greedy. It's not about getting the big lick one time. Your goal and your main focus is returning customers and customers that subscribe to your product or to your services because this is going to create um, revenue for your business on a monthly basis, right? So if I have a $1,000 program but I let people get in at $10 a month and I'm giving you spectacular services and products, you do not, you think that these people aren't going to sign up? You understand what I'm saying? People are going to sign up. They're going to be recommending your services. They're going to be coming back every day or every month to, to follow the program or something. You understand what I'm saying? So you want to just position yourself like that with you know giving people a great price point as well as a great um, payment structure, right? Now, last but not least, the main thing that you want to put on your website or your sales funnel is going to be a call to action other product and services that you may be offering in combination and the uh, the main thing is that you want to have is your phone number right so a lot of time when people jump on these websites you can't call nobody sometimes people want to pick up the phone and have a real conversation and like I said on the on the last video let's not cancel out the the uh, the human touch the human phone call the pickup okay you're reliable right because not a lot of people can come to your office right now because of COVID-19 and certain things like that. So make sure you leave a real live person phone number. A real live person phone number. Even if it's a 1-800 number, just put live person um, next to it and then they'll know that they can order from you. Let's put it this way. If you have a hair business, you have all your packages up, you got you know, $5.99 for a hair you know, set. If you're doing real estate, you got your properties up and you, you know it's two thousand dollars, five thousand, six hundred for a room. If you're trying to sell a house, it's five sixty, it could be a million dollars. The main thing that you want to have is the product, the service, a picture, a price point, and a contact number. Alright? So I hope that's um, been good for you guys as far as how to convert sales on the website. Now let's move along. Now, when we're talking about marketing, I don't care if it's physical or digital, you want to understand who's your ideal audience. Now, when people talk about this online and different podcasts and YouTube tutorials and things like this, I learn everything I learned, I got certified on, on marketing, right? For social media marketing, Facebook marketing, YouTube marketing, I'm certified on marketing, right? So when we're talking about audience, how the hell do you know who your audience is? That's number one. A lot of people don't even know. So if I'm selling, if I want to, you know, partner with Apple and I'm selling laptops for Apple, right? Even if I'm inside the store or outside the store as an independent contractor, my main goal is to target students. My main goal is to target small business owners. My main goal is to target, you know, right now will be like students. It's a big market. A lot of people working from home and professional people working from home, right? So when I do an ad or ad commercial, I want to make a commercial showing people, one, showing these people using my product. I want to make a commercial with students using my product. I want to make a commercial with professional people using my product. I want to make a commercial with... Um, maybe couples and small small business owners using the computer and then write a call to action. 
A call to action could be something as simple as this. Um, have you been looking for a laptop to use at home? Um, we have a great laptop that has all the functions. You feel what I'm saying? And that's it. And then leave a number. You can do um, a sales percentage. Okay, if you guys call now, you get 50% off. Whatever the case may be, but that's a call to action. Allowing people to understand there's an offer, allowing people to understand there's some kind of savings, allowing people to understand, you know, you may have a window of opportunity to buy this product at a certain price point. That's it. And then give them a phone number so they can contact you or a link so they can, um, you know, roll right into the purchase screen of your for your product. And that's it. Now, when we are talking about lead generation and some people are online using Facebook and Google AdWords and using YouTube or doing you know live blogs like this your main goal when we're talking about lead generation is to make sure that you give um, call to actions that's one you also want to make sure that you have landing pages to retain customer information or some type of offer that you can offer someone for free or a small purchase amount so they can give you their information. Me personally, I don't do none of that shit, but these are little small techniques that you use. But the one that I use most because I want organic people to work with an organic business that I can rely on at some point when everything gets popping again, <laughs> or even now, um, you know, I want people to direct message me. So messaging is like one of the best ways um, to do business nowadays because it's instant. I like instant. I don't want to wait. I don't want to, you know, look at my lead generation form and I got to wait to see the report and things like that. I that's that's annoying. So what I use is a company called Manny Chat. That's M A N Y C H A T dot com. This platform and tool is going to change your life. I'm telling you that right now. Um, it automatically integrates with your Facebook page it also works alongside your advertising right it also works alongside your posts and videos and all you know whatever content that you've been um, putting together it works alongside that like that now what many chat does is on it, it is a automated bot right you can become an automated bot or you can still use it manually depending on how big your business is so if your business is like 500 to a thousand yeah you can probably hire someone to manage your many chat account right um, now if you are you know a smaller business like 500 to a hundred to ten to five you can still use many chat use it yourself or out you know give someone else the task to deal with it but in many chat like I said it's an automated message bot that can basically walk the customer again through your uh, sales process as well as as well as um, what do you call it um, go directly to your sales page so you can do it you can do multiple things you can set up a video in many chat have people watch your presentation or watch a commercial or go to your landing page or go to your sales page right um, with many chat you can also just automate conversations meaning you can basically tell the person hey thanks for you know coming to uh, blase blase website and um, thanks for making an order you can do an automated one where you can send out you know more sales and different percentages you can automate when a person um, you can basically automate when a person does uh, log on to your many chat portal as well but like I said long story short use many chat is um, instant um, you know gratification for me because I can talk to my customers directly immediately in real time and, and also I can answer any question like right then and there so if my customers say hey oh I see that house out in Queens for 560 when are you doing an open house I can just text them the address text in the price send them pictures send them a video send them my phone number automated meaning I can do it one time and then tell that person what to do right because inside the platform it allows you to create an automated response I can send them my commercial I can send them my phone number I can send them a thank you I can send them a welcome I can send them my website I can send them a product page I can send them all my top sales that I got for the week I can send them my inventory you understand what I'm saying I can send them PDFs 
crazy. ManyChat is amazing. So definitely use ManyChat. I ain't, I'm not plugging it, plugging it in. I'm just telling you guys to use it. I, mean, I didn't tell you take this link and use my link. Da, 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 da. Use it. I'm, I'm good doing what I'm doing. I just want people to get some real information in real time and based on real results. So use ManyChat to leverage your business as a small business owner. These are great tools to use. It's simple. It's easy to use. And trust me, it already works with Facebook. So it's not going to be hard. Let me tell you one of the key things that ManyChat does. Especially for lead generation. Remember, we're talking about lead generation, but we're going to use a tool called ManyChat. Now, if I if I um, do a marketing campaign on Facebook, or even if I use um, Google AdWords, which I will have a live video showing you guys how to use Facebook, how to use YouTube, how to use Google AdWords effectively, and I'm going to show you the back end to show you guys how to use those uh, platforms effectively to do lead generation and also how to build an organic um, platform so you guys can sell your products get brand awareness and do what you guys have to do successfully with bare minimal cost as well but when we're talking about um, lead generation this is what many chat does since many chat actually works alongside of Facebook right as soon as the person clicks right because we're gonna send them a message but as soon as they click on the many chat um, bot which in most cases is going to say your name and your company and your product because they already showed interest as soon as they click on get started or learn more many excuse me many chat already takes their information you guys caught that many chat many chat works with Facebook and as soon as the customers say start here shop here learn more book now whatever the case may be is automatically going to retain their information. Round of applause. I wish I had this information when I started. This shit would have saved me so much trouble, but it is what it is. But ManyChat works really good. So for lead generation versus running thousands of dollars and you know, you know, you know, risking money that you don't have, just listen, send out your posts organically to like 50 to 200 people. And watch them click on a button. You retain the information automatically. You wind up catching their interest in your product. And guess what? Now you can pick up the phone. You can have your employees pick up the phone and give them a call because they show interest. And you've been able to retain the information instantly. Right? And the best part with ManyChat too, they have a, CR, a CRM system as well. So every person that you advertise to is there um, once they click you know, the button. Um, also, their uh, phone numbers, their Facebook page, and their names is all there. So when you want to move between ManyChat, your lead generation, your CRM system, pick up the phone and call them. And if you want to do a digital campaign, all the um, uh, CSV information is there. So you don't need to do much. You can take all their phone, you can take all their information, and then do another advertising to give, do a live feed like this, or to send them to your website, or send them to a product website, or send them to a webinar, or send them to your main website so they can see you see your product and services in a professional manner. That's how you convert people, right? And then not only that, you have to scale your marketing campaign. So when you learn how to get one customer, you just scale it, and we talked about that on the last live feed, but let's move forward. So we talked about audience, we talked about lead generation, we talked about sales and revenue. Um, so last but not least, let's talk about control, as well as um, Facebook pixel and trackers, right? So if you've been marketing on Facebook, marketing on YouTube, marketing on Google, Google AdWords, or if you have ever gone shopping in America or in New York or in Brooklyn or wherever you live, in most cases, they already have a tracker, right, um, sync on their Wi-Fi, right? So a lot of times companies will say, hey, when you come into our place of business, um, many chat should be free from what, I'm, from what I understand, but take a look at it. Many chat should be free, guys. There should be no cost. And if it is a cost, it's like bare minimal. But just take a look at it. I haven't um I don't know. I don't know if it's automated on my on my debit card or what, but take a look at it. I can take a look at it too in a minute. But let me just finish up what we're talking about real quick. So when we're talking about um control, right? We're talking about pixels 
and we're talking about trackers, right? So when we're talking about pixels and trackers, trackers and control, this is what I mean by that. Data, collecting data is the name of the game, right? All major companies are leveraging data for you know our benefits, their benefits, competition benefits, and they're you know doing whatever they want. So what I done and understand is you know by getting certified in marketing and trying to build out my business and building out my business and being on the ground on a day-to-day -day basis controlling the data is very important for entrepreneurs starting out it's very important for small businesses it's very important for you know your you know uh, companies that have 500 people to a thousand people to 10 people right or even one or even two data is everything so if you're not collecting data you're doing yourself a disservice when you are running a business. The reason why I say that because in today's world, you know who's buying from you. You know who's checking your website out. Or you should know who's checking out your website. You should know how many people like your campaign by name. You should have people phone numbers who like your posts, who go into your website, that's calling your phone. You understand what I'm saying? So the data is very important. You should know how many people's in your many chat. You should understand how much money you're spending, right? To collect all this data into into convert sales. So let's talk about pixel. Pixel and track tracker or having a tracker is one and the same, right? So in order to get a pixel, in most cases a lot of people are using Facebook. When you go into Facebook Ad Manager, you want to go to the side where it says Pixel, and then they'll help you. Um, they'll they'll help you automatically or manually get a pixel, right? Great. All you gotta do is copy and paste it. If you have a website with GoDaddy, if you have a website with uh, any other company, you just copy and paste it. You call them. Or you use like um, their communication part, and you just email and say, "Hey, add my pixel to my website." This is very important to do. A lot of people do not do it, so I'm trying to get, give you guys a game. I'm going to repeat what I just said. Go on Facebook Ad Manager if you have a you know a company Facebook account. Go on to Facebook Ad Manager. Um, click on I believe it's Settings or. Um, Sometimes they update it, so it may be like dot dot dots dot dots, like all on the top right hand corner when you're there. Click on it, and then towards the right or left, you want to type in the search box um, pixels. Click on pixels, and then Facebook is going to say, Hey, do you want to manually do it or do you want to auto automatically do it? Click on automatically and just copy and paste that, um, that code, copy and paste it. And then, like I said, if you have GoDaddy. If you have, um, you know, Business Square or these other platforms, just take that, um, just copy and paste your code that Facebook gave you, your pixel, and then put it in an email, and then just, you know, type to South so GoDaddy support. Please add my pixel to my website, and this is my website. They'll do the coding for you. That's a jewel right there. You understand what I'm saying? Now. What does that mean for you by having a pixel attached to your website? What does it mean for your business to have that tracking device on your website? It means everything. Okay, so having ManyChat and having a pixel or tracker attached to your uh, website means everything. Okay, guys? Um, so take the terms that I use um, if you got a pad that's great if you need a one-on-one -on -one, like I said all my one-on-one -on -one sessions are free there's no charge for that if you say hey Josh I don't have the time to do it or you know what you're talking about please do it for me I will set you up they're very small payments do not worry about the cost I made everything dirt cheap um, to become a partner is uh, 500 to become VIP is a thousand to get and like I said our ultimate Packet is our twenty dollar packet, meaning you get everything that you need for twenty dollars a month. You can't beat this shit. So for setting up everything that you need help with, for setting up everything that you need help with as a small business owner for marketing, for entrepreneur for for marketing, for social media marketing, for you know helping you build out your many chat and making it automated, it's only twenty dollars, people. You cannot beat this shit right 
So if you say, hey, Josh, I want you to help me. I do not have the time, right? It's only $20 a month. We'll come up with whatever kind of payment plan in the back end for you. But trust me, we're making it extremely affordable for people in our community to start leveraging online businesses, even physical businesses. If you have a physical business, you have no online um, social media or marketing campaign running to bring customers to your place of business, you're doing yourself a disservice. You do not need to be Amazon to start generating revenue. It doesn't, you don't need to be. You don't, Amazon just understand marketing. Amazon understand their customer. Amazon collect the data on a customer so they know their buying habits and what they need. Amazon is, you know, creating commercials and creating opportunities. Amazon got people talking about Amazon. You understand what I'm saying? Now, this is a this is a key thing about Amazon. Amazon wanna create a persona about Amazon. Amazon persona is this. We can get you whatever you need in the world in a matter of a couple of days. We can get you anything in the world at a decent price. We can get you anything in, in the world and we're dealing with credible people and credible companies to make sure that we get it delivered to. You understand what I'm saying? Amazon made their self a credible company to do business with. That is it. Besides the logo, besides all that other bullshit, it's their infrastructure, it's their sales process, right? Meaning, they got you to spend money, they got other people to talk about them, they got commercials to some degree, they collected the data to reach out to you because you sold some type of interest because they have so many products. You understand what I'm saying? Excuse me. <coughs> could they have so many products. So you can go on Amazon and get anything you want. But the main thing that Amazon did was that they made themselves a reliable company that can give you a product on time at a great affordable price. Now, if you don't miss that shit, cause that's everything. So if you are providing whatever service it is, which your main focus is, is to provide services that people can get in a timely manner, that's 100% on point, as well as being delivered to them on point, and that's what make people buy. A good price is delivered quickly, it's a, it's a product that works, you know what I'm saying? This is what's gonna make you reliable in in whatever marketplace you are, even if you're online or physical, right? That's very important. So let's say like we ordered food the other day and whatever it was, like the food was like, it came on a good time, it was a good price point, but the shit was fucked up. Do you know what I'm saying? The only thing that allowed us to keep our money with them and not cancel the transaction was that they was able to come right back out to us and get us our product in a timely manner and it was you know um, presentable to where we can actually eat it you know what I'm saying take the same concept in your business your goal as a business owner your goal as an entrepreneur your goal as doing any kind of side hustle your goal as someone running a hundred um, hundred people in your company or 500 or even if it's just yourself is to deliver a product on time at a good price consistently that is it people love shit like that people go crazy for that they'll share your business and do a whole bunch of crazy things now let's talk about control so we talked about pixel pixels um, how to get it on your website right we talk about trackers which is the same thing let's talk about control now I'm a big person on control um, I am 32 years old and and I learn you know obviously my couple years on earth is that if you are not in position of control you're doing yourself a disservice if it's business or personal don't matter if you're not in control I didn't say be an asshole what I'm saying is be in control to get a bag be in control to make a decision be in control to say yes or no be in control to make shit happen be in control with being smart be in control by you know understanding um, you know how to allow everyone to get a win-win be in control to make shit make sense be in control when shit don't make sense you feel what I'm saying this is what I mean by control I'm not saying have control and just be an asshole I'm not saying have control and just be you know running my head looking crazy and doing shit crazy I'm not saying that the main thing that you want to understand when you are doing any kind of business being any kind of relationship doing anything in this world is that you want to have control 
Now, with that control, like I said, the characteristics is just being a cool, fly motherfucker. But at the end of the day, you want to have control. So if someone's saying, blase, blase, and you're not with it, I'm not with it. I'm not doing it. If I work for somebody, I'm not in control completely. So you got to do what they say to some degree. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm not going to go there. I'm, listen, you got a 9 to 5. You got to do what you got to do. I, I, write, I have 9 to 5 too. And I still do. I work, I work, for, my, I work for my kids. <laughs> you feel me? They tell me what to do every damn day. But at the end of the day, you have to understand what it is to have control. And you have to understand to put yourself in control with finances, relationship, business, business, and health-wise as well. All right. So let's talk. Let's take it a little deeper. What I mean by control when we're talking about marketing, right? In business. Now, when we're talking about marketing, you have to understand we are not in control. The reason being that you are not in control when it comes down to marketing, right? Is because we're using other people platforms, other company platforms. So at some point of the day, like I already gave you game on, you want to have Manny Chat, you want to have a pixel. The only reason why you want that is to collect data. Data is a real control because if Facebook go down today, if TikTok go down today, if YouTube go down today, the only thing that really may stand a chance is going to be maybe YouTube and Google. The reason being, I say that because Google is a real fucking company that's been around the block and they got deep pockets. So when you talk about all these other companies and even LinkedIn and um, Tumblr and uh, Prentice and uh, LinkedIn and all these other companies, Google is the only real company that really want to be here for the next 10, 20 years. You understand what I'm saying? This is how thought out you have to be as a business owner when you're thinking about control and putting your business in the best situation and in Amazon as well. So data is a it data is going to allow you to stay in business so now the fact that we got coronavirus right let's say you've been running campaigns as a business owner and using different platforms like google eats and um yup.com and home advisor and all um, amazon too for their like for whatever services and business they have for affiliates um let's say if you've been doing private label um businesses and you've been using their links or they'll probably give you a custom customized link this is a thing you got to understand these people even though you're marketing their product and you're using their product and selling all this shit and you're doing all the marketing guess what happens they control all the data you do not you know what I'm saying you have to understand the, the name of the game is to control data if you have thousands of customers and you've been using other people platforms and you do not have the name and phone numbers of the customers that you dealt with you're doing yourself a disservice this is a real game. If I dealt with 5,000 customers in the past two years, I should have everyone's phone number. Period. If you don't, you're doing yourself a disservice because right now with coronavirus, guess what? Those 5,000 names of people who purchase with your company and have real interaction with your company are looking for you at some point. Maybe you'll probably get a phone call here and there, but at the end of the day, trust me, it would be way better if you was to, would be able to actually pick up the phone and call them. Or send them an email or send them a video or send them an ad campaign and say hey we're still open for business this is our new um, way of doing business because of the coronavirus a lot of people can't do that a lot of people can't say okay cool listen um, John pull up our uh, CRM system let's do an ad campaign for 50% off and we're in business just make sure everyone have their PPEs and we're gonna set up a structure where people are gonna be safe and we can still um, provide service, we can still sell our products, and we can just do it in a safe manner. Boom. No. You know, you know the main reason why people shut the fuck down? You don't, you don't think people want to make money right now? They can't because they don't have the data. A lot of people fold in the fuck up. They don't control their customers. They don't, they don't know where their customers are coming from. they just happy to be in business. I learned a long time ago, it's not just cool to be in business. It's way better when you run a business. Catch that. It's cool to have a business. It's way better to run a business. You feel me? Understand what it takes to run a business. Understand how to leverage your credit. Understand how to leverage your personal credit. Understand how to control your data. Understand how to reach out to your customer and which is the best tools and ways to go about doing it. Cool? All right, this is your boy, Josh. 
Uh, we're going to be signing out tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the information tonight. I hope you guys took notes. Um, if you guys have any questions, please reach out to me directly. Like I said, the information is 1,000% free. All right? So don't don't worry about it. If you call me and say, Josh, I need help setting this up, that's free. If you say, hey, Josh, I want you to set it up for me, yes, that's a charge. I mean, you're using my time to do something. So that's the only thing I'm going to say about that. My phone number is 718-500-8705. Um, if you guys have any questions, you guys want to reach out to me and just talk about your business and marketing and credit, da, 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 we do that shit all day long. Okay, so don't feel no kind of way. Just use my phone number. I'm a little old school, <laughs> I guess if you want to call it that way. Pick up the phone and call me. Let's have a quick conversation. Let's get you, you know, where you need to be. And like I said, every day you can call me and get your shit off. You feel me? Like my main goal is to help as much people as I humanly possibly can to change their situations, change their family situation. If you have young entrepreneurs, if you're a couple, if you're a single person, if you are a single young lady, if you're a college student, if you are um, a career seasoned person to have a nine to five, if you're a bus driver, if you're an NTA worker, you feel me? If you are a high successful person and you don't have marketing set up the right way for your business, give me a call. Let's talk about it. Let's put things together, right? Um, you know, if you have a whole bunch of siblings and you're concerned about, you know, how they're going to eat, how they're going to get certain things down, if what, whatever the situation may be, pick up the phone, call me. Right? Once again, my name is Josh. This is the Josh Harkness Show where we give live and in real in, live information in real time, real results. All right? Um, like I said, this is Josh signing out. You guys have a good night. Peace. I'll see you guys on another live. Later. I ain't gonna have no voice. I keep doing these damn lines. I tell you that. <laughs>